Okay, everybody show me the right way to climb up on your ATV. Easy as okay. one, two, three. Always having three parts of your body touching either the bike or the ground at, the same, at once. One of the keys to this off-highway vehicle safety course, never take anything for granted. Make sure you have enough gas. And before you take off on the open road, you better be sure you know how to control and stop your OHV on all kinds of terrain using the front and rear brake for a smooth stop and a smooth start. New Mexico Game and Fish has taken on the off-highway vehicle program for the state and is teaching this OHV safety course for free at this annual sports expo in Albuquerque. Hats are really great. A lot of people think if you turn them around it becomes a helmet. Not true. It doesn't, doesn't protect you. The ATV Safety Institute sent trainer Johnny Martinez to take riders out on the course for hands-on training in the wild you must prepare for unexpected roadblocks. I practice going over obstacles. And anytime you, you decide that you, the only way um, to proceed forward is to go over an object, you always want to go over it at a 90 degree, 90 degree angle. Meaning you want to go over it as straight as you possibly can. That'll, that'll be, prevent you from tipping over. Right as you get to the object, you want to, you want to slow down and then accelerate over the object. When you apply a little bit of throttle, it'll lift the front end up a little bit to get you over the object. New Mexico Game and Fish is well known for preserving the state's wildlife and open spaces. And Marty Frenzel says his agency finds itself in the middle of a tricky balancing act between those who love off-highway vehicles and those who don't. We're trying to make sure that the you know, riders take responsibility for their actions and, and perform properly in the woods. And uh, we also want the other side to make sure that, uh, that we can share the planet. There's, there's, there's room for everybody. If, if we just go about it um, in, a, in a calm, patient, and, and um, thoughtful way, and that's this training today, I think, will we'll, uh, lead to reduced accidents and um, gain more uh, exposure for the program, make people aware of, what, of the need for safety training for anyone under 18. And I think, I think we're off to a good start. This next one's fun. We're going to do a figure eight. So what did we learn just a little while ago in the, in the classroom? What are you going to do with your eyes? Search and scan. scan. Search and scan. You got to look around you. Don't look just straight ahead of you. What's going to happen here, we're going to have a whole bunch of you out there going in a figure eight. So you got to watch out for each other now. Sharing the road is an important lesson with the rising popularity of OHVs and the lessons are proving valuable for riders of all ages. I've been riding for four to five years. And I've been riding for about 21 to 22 years. And this is their first training class. I learned uh, how to lean into the thing so you don't tip over when you're going over a hill. I learned uh, quick stops and how to avoid an accident. This exercise will teach the students how to successfully uh, climb over an obstacle. Oftentimes you can't go around it and you, the only uh, way to get through is to go over the obstacle. This will, this will get them through it safely. Teaching them to get, go over the obstacle at a 90 degree angle whenever possible. Standing, leaning, controlling the machine with your body weight. If he's coming down the hill, he's gonna shift it back as far as he can shift it and still reach the, the controls comfortably. If he's going up the hill and he's making a left hand turn, left hand turn, left hand turn there you go. You're shifting your weight because you're gonna see you'll be up on top of the hill. Now it's time to try and practice controlling their OHVs using their bodies over the machine. Practice going up the hill. How would, show me your position. There you go, lean forward, good job, okay. And even younger, lighter riders are getting the hang of it. When you're turning on a hill, that you keep your weight on the outside and when you're turning real sharp corners to keep your weight on the inside. The same for me, just uh situated on the bike and, and getting your balance correct. It's always the operator that it's their responsibility to keep the machine under control. This course is great. They'll be safe out there. We go do a lot of doors, things outdoors. Um, they're able to see wildlife, new experiences, memories. Uh, as a family, we're able to bond together and experiences and uh, get away from normal everyday stressors in, in life. 